Alright, welcome to another video. Today we'll be talking about more Notion keyboard shortcuts. If you've not seen my previous video, I went through a number of essential Notion keyboard shortcuts that I think will be very useful in any kind of situation. This time I'll be looking at shortcuts which are more targeted towards styling your content. There are still a couple other shortcuts that I wanted to share, but I think I'll leave that to a next video where I'll talk more about how you can edit and move your blocks around using Notion. So stay tuned for that. By the way, this drink is a mango coconut shake that I just got. Pretty decent, I'll say. First of all, I think one thing to take note of is that when you're using Notion, what you're basically typing is actually Markdown. If you're not sure what Markdown is, no worries. But if you do, then basically, for instance, if you want to type in some code, you can just wrap your text in some backticks and there you have it. Or alternatively, another way you could do this is to just use the command E shortcut that will work as well. If let's say you want to select some text over here, let's say, and just do command E, then you don't have to do the backticks. But in terms of Markdown, you would do that using the backticks. So if you want to use some emoji, you can say, let's say dog, and then there you have a list of dog emojis. And this works for a lot of other emojis as well. If let's say you want something bolded, then you can do star star and bold. And there you have a bolded text italicized text would look something like this. So in short, I would say this is a really useful tip to know so that you can basically style all your content just using the keyboard itself. Now the next one is about adding hyperlinks. So this might be a really simple shortcut to know, which is basically that you can highlight any text that you want and do a command K. And this will allow you to paste the link. Let's say you want to paste YouTube and there you have a hyperlink. If you click on it, that will bring you to the link in your web browser. And if you want to edit the link, then you can simply click here and remove the link or change the link to something else. So you could always select that text again, do a command K, and this will allow you to edit the link to, let's say you want it to go to some channel. Then this is how you would do it. Number three is about adding toggle lists. Now toggle lists are one of my favorite Notion features and that's because they allow you to nest a lot of information within a single page as you can see I've done over here and one way of course you could do this is to do slash toggle and just have toggle list just like that but this honestly takes up quite a few keystrokes if you want to do this in an even faster way that will be using the angle bracket so if I do angle bracket space over here you will see that I create a toggle and I can immediately write into it so you notice if you already have a toggle then of course it wouldn't work but if let's say you do it like this and then you get into the toggle and then you want to create another toggle list then you can do angle bracket space and then you have get another toggle list so really really convenient moving on the next one number four is about adding comments now typically you wouldn't add comments in your notes but if let's say you're collaborating with someone or let's say you have a notion page that you share with your friends or your colleagues then you might want to add some comments let's say over here you want to do command shift m then you can say add a comment over here and you can even tag people as well using the add symbol. Now number five is about doing strike throughs. If let's say you want to show that you cancelled off something then you can select the text and then do command shift s and that will strike through. Second last keyboard shortcut we have is about coloring and this is going to be related to the last one that I'll share later but basically first of all what you can do is you can do slash color or slash c and essentially you can choose from a list of colors what you want your next text color to appear as. So let's say I do um, this is purple and if I want to change the background I can do slash back or slash BAC yeah BAC and you can select the background let's say I want a yellow background and this whole dock will be in a yellow background so this is in a yellow background the not so quick way is to select a text and click on the color over here and select from this drop down but frankly this gets a bit tedious and one other thing that you might have noticed is when you select this and you hover over here you can see that the keyboard shortcut is command shift h to apply the text color so that's going to be the last keyboard shortcut where command shift h is what you would use to apply the coloring to your text so let's say you selected color of let's say green or blue and then you want to apply that coloring over here then you can do command shift h and that will apply it on that text that you selected and similarly for the background, the keyboard shortcut will be the same. So if let's say I choose a green background and now I want to apply it over here. I can do command shift H again and then this will apply that or rather first it would undo the previous changes and then 
If you do command shift h again this will apply your most recently chosen color for the background or the color so in this case i chose green background so that's the style that's being applied so that's it for the seven notion styling keyboard shortcuts i hope you found them useful if you did please like share and subscribe and let me know what is your favorite shortcut for styling your content down in the comment section below and i'll be happy to hear about them thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one mm -hmm.